guys, welcome back. My name is Ali. Oh, my name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle, or I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I promise you guys, if you're new to my channel, I don't always look like this. I'm not ever even in this kind of terrible lighting shadows or setup. Um, today's just a little bit different. I'm going to be reorganizing and decluttering my makeup. Anytime I reorganize or declutter, I do it spontaneously. And I know a lot of you guys like to see declutters. So I was like, you know what? While I was in the shower, I was like, Ugh, I really need to go through my makeup. Instead of buying more storage, maybe I should just go through it and see what I'm not using anymore rather than feeling like, instead of buying more storage and then feeling like I have to fill up that storage, if that makes sense. So we're going to downsize instead and just hold on to these puppies that I've been holding on to since the start of Beauty With A Purpose. So let's go ahead and get down on the ground and start going through some makeup. All right, you guys, so I'm going to start with my fullest drawer, and that is going to be this drawer here. So this has all of my base products and setting sprays. So this has primer, foundation, concealer, and all of my sprays. So let's just go ahead and go through this and see what I'm really not using, what I haven't reached for, what I rarely reach for, and just stop hoarding things. So let's go ahead and start with primers. Okay, you guys, so right off the bat, I know that I'm keeping these two. These two right here have been like my holy grails recently, so I'm gonna hold on to those. Um, this one is always a tried and true. I don't know about that one, but I am gonna hold on to this one and my primer serum because I do want something really affordable. And then you guys, I don't ever reach for this Illa Mask one. I got this in a Ipsy, so it just looks like a jelly. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. You guys, this one is brand new, still has a pack, uh, still has like the wrapper on it. So I am gonna go ahead and declutter this one. And then I'm gonna make it a point to use up my bigger size of this. Another one that I don't really reach for, but it still has a lot is this Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. I am gonna go ahead and pass that one on, as well as this um, Watermelon Burst one, just because like I really feel like this one broke me out. Every time I've used it, I've gotten really ugly under the skin of pimples from this, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one too. This primer, this Becca one, is actually really good, so I am gonna go ahead and keep that, as well as I'm going to keep the Glassy Skin one. I don't like this by itself. Um, I'd really rather pass this on because I don't ever reach for this. Like I know Jessica Braun and Taylor Wynn, they rave about this. And they even say that it's a dupe for like the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I'm just not a fan of it because I have a lot of texture on my skin and this just does nothing for that even though it says it does. This is definitely just for more of a glow if that's what you're looking for. But I am gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. And also, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this Pureless, Pureless -y one. And I've only used this one twice and there's still quite a bit. So this is dang near brand new. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This is a really good dupe for the Urban Decay Optical Illusion one. So I am going to hold on to this and I'm going to hold on to the Professional Primer because this is really good for me, you guys. So I got rid of two, four, six, and I'm keeping two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's not bad. Whoa, I had 16 primers. What in the world? That is ridiculous, Allie, get it together. So now what we can go through, you guys, are my concealers. So let's go ahead and go through my concealers. So I bought a backup of the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, but you guys, I honestly, oh, I haven't even used this. 
like it looks like I have, but I haven't. I've just opened it and swatched it. Let's get rid of this for now and give it to somebody who can use it. And when I actually run out of this, we'll restock it. We'll revisit it at that time. This concealer, the BH Studio, the BH Studio Pro Concealer, this is actually a really good full coverage concealer. But this shade is just way too light for me that I discovered in my last video. So I'm thinking that's probably why I don't reach for it. I have the shade 105. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of this one as well. going to go ahead and try to use up this camouflage concealer. I am going to keep both of these LA Girl Pro Conceal concealers for a video that I want to do. Guys, concealers is going to be hard. I am going to go ahead and get rid of this Instant Age Rewind because this just needs to go in the trash. I can't even, I don't even remember when I bought this, y'all. So that's actually going into the literal trash. I love my useful glow concealer. Um, a more affordable option for this one is this Wet n Wild one. So I am gonna go ahead and keep this and just, this one's really messy though. And that's the only thing that I don't like about it is that like it just stays a mess. So I am, there's not very much of this left. I'm gonna try to use that up. As much as I love the Believe Beauty line, I really do not reach for this that much. I am going to go ahead and get rid of it. I've only had it for about a year, but I'm going to get rid of it. I am going to go ahead and get rid of this Pretty Vulgar Concealer. And it's only because I was only using this for spot concealing. But I found the Juvia's Place one does a way better job than this one. So I'm going to see if a friend wants this. or. So these are all the concealers I'm going to be keeping. So I have two, four, six, two almost empty ones, well three almost empty ones. So three I gotta use up, and then these ones I really need to work on. And I got rid of five concealers. Foundations, y'all. Okay, this is going in the trash because I've had it for about two, two years and it burns my face whenever I use it and it gets splotchy if I don't set it, but it's way too matte for me to set, so. The fact that I've had it for two years, I am going to go ahead and toss it in the trash. Now this one I have not had for two years, but this shade is way too light for me. This one's in the shade Nude Beige. So I am just going to see if, some, if I can find somebody that this shade matches and just pass this on. Another thing I am going to get rid of, okay, I'm getting rid of quite a few foundations just because of the shades. NYX Born to Glow foundation is way too light. I got this shade Nude, and that's, y'all, that's just not my shade. So I really need to find somebody to give this to. I'm actually going to give away the Believe Beauty foundation and the ABH foundation, only because both of these are a smidge too dark for me. So let's go ahead and pass these two on. And I'm keeping the rest, because one is a backup of my favorite foundation, but it also has never been opened. You know what? My little sister, I'm going to I'm gonna let her have this full one. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. And then I love, I'm going to keep all the rest. So I got rid of two, four, six foundations. And I'm keeping two, four, six, eight, nine foundations. Ooh, actually, some of these are actually my favorites. So, all right, y'all. Here comes the hard part sprays y'all i just find it so hard to get rid of sprays not getting rid of that one not getting rid of that one and not getting do i really need both of these use just about the same amount out of both of these okay i'm gonna keep the calming one and get rid of the refreshing one you guys Ugh, i don't want to keeping these two because i'm almost out of the cucumber one and this is actually one of my favorite primer waters Keeping that one. Here's something shocking. I'm actually going to get rid of my e.l.f. Glow Dewy Mist. Well, for one, it looks a little chunky in there. Okay, I guess you just gotta shake it. But anyways, my skin's at a point to where I don't need extra stuff to make it glow anymore. So I am just gonna get rid of the rest of this, see if anybody wants it since there's not much left to it. Find somebody that has drier skin than me and just go from there. <sighs> I actually love my Makeup Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Fixing Spray, so I am going to keep that one. So this one still has some weight to it, and these are basically the same thing. So I'm just going to get rid of this Pro Fix one, and then I am going to try to use up this Prime and Fine one. So I got rid of three setting sprays. Doesn't seem like a lot. Why don't it seem like a lot? 
Not a lot, Allie. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and reorganize this drawer and see what we can figure out for it. So. done with drawer number one y'all okay face powders Just highlights bronzers and setting powders so let's start with actual setting powders keep keep shoe keep i mean shoe definitely keep I don't reach for this one enough because it's not in my actual setting powder. Get rid of this one. I'm getting rid of that. that. There's no reason for me to be holding on to that. And it's super old, super old. Oh, I really love this Believe Beauty powder. It's crazy good. I'm gonna get rid of this one just so that way somebody else can use it. I believe that this would be a really pretty highlighter for somebody who's deeper than me. This is the Bakelite Soft Light Blurring Powder, but it's too shimmery for under the eyes. And then keep and keep. Is that all my setting powders? Okay, let's do highlighters. Highlighters, highlighters. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that I can get rid of this one considering that these two have such similar shades, so keep get rid of um these two are basically the same the elf nabella one and then the wet and wild it's so lit so i think i'm going to keep the wet and wild one because it's easier to get your hands on rather than the elf um nabella one so we're going to get rid of this one keep this one and then I told my sister whenever I first bought these that I would be giving her one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and keep heroin. Oh my gosh. I mixed up the lids, y'all. Oh, the insides match, thank goodness. So I'm gonna be giving her heroin glow two, and I'm gonna be keeping. So this is a really, really pretty highlighter, but it can be just a touch too icy so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one it's time to trash this one you guys this one was given to me that was given to somebody that was given to somebody like that was this one was given to me by somebody that it was given to them so i have no idea how old this is so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that keep this one um and then you guys i always tell myself that i'm gonna use this suva boot beauty one but honestly i just don't ever use it and then this one's pink and I'm not really a fan of it. So we are gonna go ahead and get rid of this hourglass one. Maybe if it was a different color. So really the only cream products I'm holding onto are those right there. Let's do blushes and bronzers. So bronzers, bronzers. Oh, I really don't wanna get rid of any of my bronzers. I'm really gonna get rid of this one because I don't ever use it. I was planning on doing a makeup revolution or a full face of makeup revolution, but when that time comes, maybe they'll have a bronzer that I use more than this one because it's just way too deep and red tone. So let's just go ahead and pass that on. I am gonna go ahead and pass on this, this palette right here, only because, I don't know, Just we're just gonna pass that on, okay? Okay. And then I really do like this right here. Like this is a really good all-in-one palette, especially like just for bronzing and highlighting. If I want something super fast, bronzer, highlight, and it's a subtle highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I actually love all the options that you get in this palette. So I'm keeping this one. I'm actually gonna keep a lot of like all of my palettes just because when I want something quick or like a two for one. So bronzer, highlight, bronzer, highlight, and then blush on blush and highlight so i just like being able to grab like one thing and go sometimes uh, so let's see which of these blushes i can get rid of 
Okay, I actually really like that blush. I'm gonna get rid of this Ciate London blush and we are gonna go ahead and get rid of this Gigi Gorgeous blush. Keeping the butter bronzer. Oh, we're not even on bronzers, Allie. So these two, oh, I thought they were gonna be similar, but I'm gonna get rid of this, Pe this CoverGirl Peach Punch one and keep the Juvia's Place one. <sighs> Mainly because the CoverGirl one is in better shape to pass down to someone. Keeping my e.l.f. highlighter, keeping this one, and keeping this one. Even though it's super duper shimmery, it's still really pretty. So for bronzers, I'm keeping, 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 get rid of. Oh, one more bronzer is this cream bronzer. So I'll be keeping this one as well too. I need to put, move this cream bronzer out of here and put it down here with my other cream stuff. Okay, so let's see. Bronzer. This is the drawer that's going to be hard because I hate getting rid of eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Milani one. No, 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 no. Keeping them. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so hard. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this one because I keep keeping it and I just, I don't reach for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Tarte Single Eyeshadow. And then this Ace Butte one, so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Okay, now let's go through here. What can we get rid of, Allie? Okay, these two are really similar, not the same, but similar. So I'm gonna get rid of the L'Oreal one. Keeping that, keeping those. Getting rid of this e.l.f. Putty Primer. I'm gonna get rid of this e.l.f. Eyeshadow Primer just because I'm more of a concealer fan. Getting rid of these two. And as much as I've really been wanting to use this and keep this, I just don't ever reach for it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Keeping these. And let's go. Keeping all of these. Oh look, that's the same as the one that I just got rid of. Okay. Okay, let's compare real quick. My mom bought me this one love the red in that one you see i want to keep both but i only want to keep this one for the red you only need one colorful eyeshadow palette Allie. i'm gonna get rid of this one i don't want to but i'm going to keeping this one because i actually really do love that palette i hate getting rid of stuff that i just bought lots of palettes that either have these shades in them or okay getting rid of that one i wasn't a fan of that one anyway mm. No, you guys. Keeping the mimosa. Keeping Tati. I feel like I just bought this. But I gotta get rid of it. Keeping that one. Keeping both of these because I love this orangey glad palette. So pretty. Love this palette. Great for every day. And you guys, I'm actually going to get rid of the chocolate bar palette. I just don't reach for it like you would think and honestly the nude mood has a lot of the shades that like the cooler toned browns so somebody else will get better use out of that and okay. let me check this one really quick. so i'm pretty sure this one is growing mold on it so we are gonna have to just get rid of this one because I thought I got setting powder on this. I thought it was setting powder y'all. So I wiped it all off, wiped like all the eyeshadows off. And now that I'm looking at it, all the little white dots are back. So I haven't even had this a year. So that's kind of sucks. I really want to break this mirror out of here though. Can't I just keep this for the mirror? Like, look at that thing. Yeah, so we're going to have to get rid of this one, you guys, because it's growing mold on it. So sad. It's such a pretty palette. But I believe that was a big problem with this palette whenever it first came out was that it molded really fast. I just won this palette in a giveaway, so 
yeah I guess it kind of makes up for me having to get rid of my Emily edit or my yeah the Emily edit wants palette so and y'all already knew I was not getting rid of this bad boy nope not never not gonna happen now let's organize this oh, just bought this one I guess I can show you guys all the palettes that I have so this is what we're gonna be left with Anastasia Renaissance, ABH, Narvina, Zoeva, Caramel Melamage. Don't know how to say that. This one I got off of Amazon. And then my BH Cosmetics palette, the Mimosa and the Festival, just to have a colorful one. My ColourPop ones. And then my Dose of Colors, the Mauve, and the Baked Browns, so Marvelous Mauves and Baked Browns, only because, you know, you always need a good matte eyeshadow look. So, now let's see how we can organize this since there's smaller palettes. that y'all look at her decluttering and stuff even though i just did a there's a makeup all coming okay honestly you guys i don't need to declutter anything out of here and here's why i use all my lashes except for those Like I can legitimately, legitimately say, I use all my lashes except for those. Uh, get rid of this, I believe, beauty one that can go in the trash. This one is way too red tone for me. That's it. Oh, this can go in the trash. I'm gonna get rid of this e.l.f. brow pomade or wet and wild. I'm sorry. I like my e.l.f. one not to wet and wild. Okay. That's all she wrote, folks. Okay, going to get rid of. Okay, y'all, I've tried to like this, I've tried to love it. I keep trying to use it. This smudge is, look, like, look how dry that is. I'm just gonna get rid of that. I do not like that. Um, not a fan of the elf. Uh, gonna get rid of the CoverGirl one. Uh, gonna get rid of these two. Now all I have are favorite mascaras left. All right, y'all. Woo! The lip products, y'all. Yeah, look at how fun this is. But I don't ever use it. This one is so pretty, great for fall. Keeping that one. That one. This one was actually really pretty, y'all. Okay, so these two, so these Milani ones are not my fave. And since I had like the Maybelline one just a smidge bit more, and it's red. Oh, they're two different reds. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of the Milani ones. I don't like how they flake off. So getting rid of those. Wow, Allie. Make a mess, why don't you? This one, it needs to get tossed because, oh my gosh, your girl's had that for so long. Keeping this one. This one is a really good dupe for Lolita too, kind of. It's a bit more brown. They're exactly the same. No, no, they're not. They're not exactly the same. Keeping both. So I actually have this Smashbox one I never reach for, probably because it's always buried. Okay, getting rid of this. 
Well, that makes up for the really old one. Y'all, it's hard to, for me to get rid of lipsticks because I like the real bold colors like these, like the gray and the blue. Like, those are really cool colors that if I was bold enough, I would wear, but no. This one, I've had this forever though. It's time to get rid of this one. It's so old. So, these are all the liquid lipsticks we're keeping. Okay, getting rid of those, getting rid of that. You guys, I'm actually pretty good about using all of these. Getting rid of those. Like, these are all of, no, I would wear that in a liquid lipstick, not. Yeah, these are a lot of my fall lipsticks. I use actual lipsticks in the bowl. So lip glosses. There's getting rid of this color pop one because I do not like the way it feels on the lips. Keeping all my lip liners. Those are hard to come by at an affordable price. So I bought this one and it caught you bare naked and it was just way too light for me. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Also going to get rid of Chick Chic Got Real. Going to get rid of this Essence Shine 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 lip gloss in the shade Let It Go. And I'm keeping No Burner. And then lip gloss is way too nude in Sugar. And I think I actually really like all the other ones. Getting rid of this teeny tiny lip liner. Getting rid of that, that's super old. Alright you guys, so this is everything that I'm getting rid of. This has got to be my biggest declutter ever. I gotta find a home for all this makeup and trash a lot of it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. There's a lot of makeup to get rid of if you haven't already. Wait, yeah. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.